Hello everyone, this is Carmen from the Featherweight Shop. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the uh, motor lube port. That's this port right here. And I'm just going to explain a little bit how it works. And then we're kind of answering a Facebook question here today. And so I'm going to show you a different one than this one as well. But anyway, this is the port right here. This is our cutaway view of a Featherweight motor. And this port right here is where you lubricate the the motor from the top side there's also one here on the back right there as well but the cutaway shows this one here and we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is take a little measurement so you guys can just see how uh, how long this is it's basically an inch from the shaft all the way up to the top of the port here this piece here is a felt wick and how this motor is designed, it's designed so that when you put lubricant in the motor, and the lubricant goes in here like this, when you put lubricant in there and you fill up this space here, as this is running, uh, as you're sewing, uh, there's some warmth that's generated right here from this shaft in the bushing, and that'll cause that lubricant to slowly work down through this felt wick, and that's what lubricates the shaft. Now one of the reasons we say don't ever put uh, oil in the motor is because if you dump a bunch of oil in here, it's just going to run quickly through that felt, and then ultimately it's going to get over here to the, uh, the wiring here on the winding of the armature. Uh, if that happens, if you're out there looking at a featherweight to purchase or something and you notice that the motor smokes a little bit, uh, that's not just that it needs cleaned it pretty much means that the motor is shot. It means that somebody has put oil in there and once this happens it causes this wiring to overheat and it's basically a no good motor at that point. So anyway, just a side note, don't ever put oil inside your motors. But that's how that works and so that's why you need a low melting point lubricant to slowly, as the temperature goes up, to, to wick through there. That's why we had our lubricant developed so that you could lubricate the motor properly. So when, uh, when we sell our lubricant, it comes with this little hollow straw thing here. It's a port cleaning tool is what we call it, but basically it's just a hollow Q-tip with the ends cut off. You stick it in here, move it around, and you're basically going to displace, and this kind of fills up with a little, this here part fills up with a little bit of the old lubricant, and you're just making some space to put the new lubricant in there. You're not actually trying to clean it all out. Uh, Anyway, so you get this cleaned out a little bit, uh, get some of the old lubricant out, and you put that, put the new in there, and you're good to go. Pretty simple. Well, not so simple if you have this particular motor right here. I just took this one apart. This one here is from, it's a UK motor. This is a Bakelite housing motor. Um, and you'll notice that this one is a little different. This port here is at a slight angle versus this one right here. You can see it right here is up and down. So this one is at a slight angle and we got another issue and that it is only about a half inch from the top from the top of this port right here all the way down to the shaft. Now one, one other thing to mention here with this motor here so we often wonder about over lubricating or pushing too hard with the lubricant. Okay, this this felt this port right here, this is a cutaway of a brass bushing that uh, a bronze bushing that this is going through. And so there's no if you were to push too hard down on this, there's no place for that felt to go. It's up against the shaft. You can't you can't um, you can't really push it into the motor as some people are afraid of. Now what you could do is if you took a needle or something in there and you really forced it in there, you could start to destroy the wick and that wouldn't be good. But you're not going to push this wick into the motor. It's against that shaft. It can't go anywhere. So anyway, back to this one now. So you got two problems with this one. It's really short and this hole is too small to get this little straw thing in. So you know, you resort to using an old needle or whatever, and that works uh, to get some of it out. But usually with this particular motor right here, this 
because I don't know if it's because it's such a small distance it's definitely uh, smaller around the felt itself is smaller but these are quite often hard as a rock so you can see I'm just barely inserting here and it's hard it's solid you're not going to you're not going to you can't get anything cleaned out of it so there's no place to put the new the new lubricant so there's a couple things to remember is number one now we're only a half inch long from here so there's not going to be a lot of room to get lubricant in there in the first place now I took this motor apart so that you could see where this goes you can see this is the angle of this lube port right here and it goes up right into this this bronze bushing and so anyway when I was taking this apart one of the downsides of this is you have to disassemble the armature is you have to take off this the, the pulley that the belt goes on and these dumb things are brittle and they break and sure enough I was trying to get it off there and it snapped but fortunately just here the other day we had a reproduction made because prior to this you had to basically try to take one of the metal pulleys and get it to fit using the other screw and it didn't didn't quite work right so anyway there is an alternative if you have to get to that point and you break it no major worries now now since I have the armature out of this motor what I can do when we talk about pushing too far is if I push on this I'm gonna push this old felt right out out the motor and so I'm gonna take it completely out so you guys can see what that thing looks like I could tell right when I when I did this that this was just an old hard one and you can see it's it's uh, it's it's yeah it's just hard and uh, I mean I can't really even squeeze it now I just told you don't ever put oil in your motor because if you put a bunch of oil in there it's going to get on the armature like we mentioned but there is one exception to that rule and that is and Singer recommends that you can put one drop of oil into a uh, onto that felt if it you know if it hasn't been lubricated in a long time and it's turned hard like this so what we're gonna do is put one drop in here and you can see that it will start to absorb into into this felt and it'll kind of bring a little bit of life back to it so keep in mind if you were to do this if you happen to have this particular odd little motor right here with the short with the short motor lube port uh, you would go ahead and put that one drop of oil right there like that and let it absorb in but most of you this is kind of a informational only video because most of you are going to have just this standard American motor that you're just going to clean out with the with the lube uh, with the port cleaning tool here and you're going to put the lubricant in and everything's going to be fine and you're back together so um, if you did happen to have this motor you would be doing this with the motor still assembled. I only took the other one apart because it was a, um, a bad motor anyway, and I wanted you to be able to see the different parts of it. Because removing these completely from the machine is not, um, is not the best idea. You're really not gonna be happy with yourself because this one is smaller than the other felts, and so you can't, uh, I have not found an exact replacement for this one. Um, this was a sh old shot motor anyway so that's why I took it out but normally you would not want to do this because now that you've got it out how are you going to get it back in there you could try to put it in here like this and fish it up inside the hole and get it back up there but chances are not going to happen very very easily so the best thing you could probably do in this instance is with the mo this motor here still assembled with the with the armature that's this part with this still inside it uh, go ahead and put one drop of oil in there and then run it a little bit uh, Start getting some heat. The other thing you can do is you can even take a hair dryer and and uh, Really heat this up right here after you've put that drop of oil in there and then put a little bit of lubricant in there but because this one is sh so short and This felt is almost the full length of that anyway 
you, you really, you're not going to get much lubricant. You're only going to get a tiny little bit of lubricant in there. Go ahead and heat it up. Go ahead and use the machine. But then um, you're going to probably have to lubricate more often until this thing is completely saturated with lubricant and starts lubricating the shaft um, how it's supposed to. So anyway, I hope that helps and makes some sense as to how, how this all works. Uh, kind of tells you uh, how to lubricate it, what type of lubricant to use, and especially about not uh, pouring a bunch of oil in there. Uh, otherwise, you'll destroy the motor. But anyway, if you have any questions, make sure and give us a call here at the Featherweight Shop, or you can chat with us, uh, send us an email, or uh, chat with us online on Facebook. Have a great day.